first of all, I have uh, I've had a wide variety of mentors with different skill sets and different act, um, different areas that they excel in over the years. And some some mentors are continuing for many years, and they're more of a touch point. Others are specific to a project or a business. I think it's really important to have mentorship, and I think what mentors provide is very uh, invaluable. Um, I also think it's important to have that outside of the family because um, you have one, you know, I was very lucky I had access to a lot within, um, within my family, but there are different points of views and there's different ways of doing things. So I always see a variety of mentors as really useful. Um, I like to solicit lots of opinions and lots of information and then create my own, uh, my own version, my own plan, my way forward. Um, so, you know, something I would definitely say to entrepreneurs is, is to have mentors, but ideally don't have just one. Um, and the reason I say that is because your mentor may be absolutely world-class in that one particular um, vertical that you're in, but the cross-pollination of ideas is something that's really important. And what works in a different industry, you know, could be something new and revolutionary in your industry. And having people that are at, you know, different stages in their own development and come from different backgrounds provides you with a real, really sage advice and a real breadth. So I highly recommend um, mentors. You can call them different things. You can call them mentors. You can call them business advisors. Um, you know, it depends on how you're structuring the relationship. Some people say, oh, I want you to be on my board. And, you know, let's take a step back from an, uh, from an investor's point of view or from a mentor's point of view. Being on your board has a fiduciary responsibility to an incorporated company, whereas being an advisor does not. So, you know, I think for a lot of people, it's a lot more attractive to be asked to be an advisor versus, you know, the fiduciary responsibility of being a board member. Um, but soliciting a variety of opinions, being able to brainstorm, um, and just understanding different aspects that you know somebody else has gone through and done done the journey. As a teenager, you have um, your parents are willing to give you a lot of advice, and you don't want to listen to it because they're your parents and they don't know anything. But you know, in the business setting, why not take advantage of people that are willing to share some of their experiences? Uh, and form your own version, the best hybrid version based on, you know, two or three different mentors experiences in your own gut. Um, I think that makes everything stronger.